Ooh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Deliver Us Mars. So at the end of the last episode we found a few of those holograms depicting that the situation is getting worse and worse up here on Mars. And we did a little swimming section. That was fun. Nice little break from walking around. And uh, yeah, now we're just gonna continue through this whole station looking for whatever re must remain of life out here. We also found out that Homeward, the, well, uh, opposition to Outward, I'm guessing, um, set off a bomb within the heating facility of this place. So they blew up their own capability to actually melt water and uh, grow food. Kathy, are you any close to that signature? Oh my god. Kat? Do you copy? Hey, are Kat? those leaves we can see in the windows? Can you still read me? That's Kat? pretty cool. Kathy? Um, but that would explain the signature of excess oxygen which is what led us to believe that there is actually life out here people out here and we've gone through quite a lot of this place yep not getting in there trying to make sure that we're not missing out on any of those little uh, data log things. Come on, Ayla. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's get some lights here. going that way. Okay, guess we take the stairs then. Okay, so they did manage to grow plants on the inside out here. What's with the insulated crates? Hmm. This seems to be doing pretty good. Nothing for us to pick up. No data, no information whatsoever. Hmm. Okay. Okay, the greenhouse has definitely taken over in here. Looks like a gardener hasn't been here for a while. Oh yeah, I think she just realized the same as we did from the outside. Excess oxygen is just due to this place being overgrown. found something. Okay. A 
why are the plants moving? There are not supposed to be wind in here. I don't know. Maybe they have a circulation air circulation unit that's still running. I don't know. But otherwise, I don't think they should be moving. Okay, let's see if we decrypt this. Close. Come on. Oh, that's dirty. There we go. Ah, another one. Okay. Uh, there we go. To MK. He says the yield is unsalvageable. How did we not catch this new mutation? How... How long until the ration plan is back on track? I think... We need to completely reevaluate our projections. With the heating coils out and no alloy from Herschel, we're already purifying water 35% slower than before and... Yo, Isaac, keep your cool, man. I just... Oh, Rosa is fighting her own Keep feelings cool. of guilt and shame. That's why she started Homeward. She thinks it'll redeem all the tough choices she had to make on the moon. Mighty brave Rosa operates out of fear and ego, just like the rest of us. Do you remember the Antarctic catastrophe? I was there. I'm the only survivor left. Our second attempt at a self-sustained biosphere, and we destroyed it in less than three years. Because of pointless arguments, petty squabbling, intelligent sane people devolved into stupid, irrational cavemen. Tell me this, Isaac. Why does emotion always triumph over pragmatism? Why were our last years on Earth accompanied by endless wars over resources? Why did you just freak out over a plan? Why ever work in unison? Because we are and always will be too selfish to do what needs to be done. Soon, Earth will be just as uninhabitable as Mars. Because of us. Not the rabbits or the bees, nor the cancer cells that spread through my wife like wildfire. We did that. I will not let it happen here. We will persevere, and we will succeed. Outward was working. Outward is working. The chaos she breeds will end it all. You understand that, don't you? Yes. Then explain to me, Isaac, why you helped her with her psych ward, and why you spend time socializing with her. It is time you choose, Isaac, which side you are actually on. It's not about science. Rosa and I are good friends. The you don't get to sit on the fence about this. Outward or Earth, Isaac? I'm here for Outward, William. You know that. I don't give a damn about Earth. Not giving a damn about Earth? I probably wouldn't put too much into that statement. He did sound like he was kind of forced to say that. Isaac seems to be a little less rational than uh, he was earlier. Okay, can we get up here? Yep, okay, I guess we're trying to traverse this place then. Not going that way. There we go. Greenhouse weeds, all that's left are unruly weeds and a lot of it. 
untamed and unkept for quite a while, this place has nothing left of value for colonists, apparently. Okay. I only found one comic. That seems weird. I don't think it's really gonna matter in the great scheme of things so did we come up here just for that just for that scan hmm that seems weird Let's try climbing down then. See. We have died from shorter falls than that. That's weird. Okay, um. Turn around and head back. Okay. Guess we are leaving. I remember when he said that before. We're back in our broken okay. house now. Hey, you okay? You sure? You feel the cold? Are you sure you're okay? Do you want a blanket or something? Hey, Emma, you're enjoying the game. Are you okay? Sure. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I'll do it. I'll do it. Just please tell me what the hell you were thinking. You do not take a child to that sunken death trap in the bay. The WSA can teach her all that training. I will just teach them myself. I know I don't trust them. I don't trust you. Because my opinion counts for nothing anymore. I've lost cost custody, so I've lost the say in the matter. For you simply appear back on Earth to take her, and that's that. I am her father. Oh, I know. State me damn sure I acknowledge that fact. Even though her father thinks it's perfectly okay for a little girl to go and live on the moon. Can we go back home? Please? Yes. I'm leaving school. I'm sorry you don't understand, but this is what's going to happen. You are being a selfish and terrible father acting out of your own fear and pain. You have no idea what you're talking about. You just know full well you are choosing to be on the moon for some inconceivable reason instead of focusing your talent and effort here on Earth. I don't give a damn about the Earth. All I care about is her. And what about me, Dad? Oh yeah, that must hurt. Claire. Oh, Claire. I know I love you, Claire, please. Sort of starting to understand the resentment that Kathy had, oh, Claire had towards uh, Isaac. Claire, please, please, Claire. That one must have really hurt, even though I'm pretty sure he misspoke. Okay, back on Mars. No one here. Just overgrown weeds and half dead plants. We saw oxygen in the when the sun was setting, right? Vegetation actually uses up oxygen at night instead of producing it, so I guess that's what that was. Damn it. Alright. Cat, 
Seems we're being carried by the current here. Now we can control ourselves. This place really wants me dead. Anna, I'm okay. Don't worry. I think I fell into their drilling network. So there must be a way out of here. Meet me at the river. Okay, so we don't have. Ayla with us down here. Well, of course not. She just hovers. us. <laughs> okay, We're swimming again. Oh, too depleting. Okay, so we're not sightseeing in here. Just dashing for the exit. That's our exit. It's surprisingly tense if she will actually hook up when you do that whole jumping thing. Oh, please tell me we don't have to do that again over here. Okay, yeah, we do. Like we can climb up higher. Okay, made it out. Not too bad. Not too bad. So, we're we just gonna appear back at the robot, or do we have to do that whole climb again? Nope, seems like we 
Just made it back to... I've made it back inside. Yep. Where do you want me to go? We cleared the blocking the elevator, so just take that up when you're ready. Copy that. Alright. Let's just see if there's anything for us down here before we go up. mess with. Nothing left behind of interest. Uh, book? Oh, yeah. We've seen that earlier. Habitat's lobby. You mark these assignments to do today. Report material request list for carport to fix more rovers to planning. Whatever, as if it will actually do anything. Visit Leander at medical. Didn't really make us any wiser. Oh, that's a scan. Gotta make a note of this. Orrery. Orrery? Orrery. This model even shows Mars as the center of it all. MacArthur and Outward really seem set on making this place a new origin point for humankind. They called it Earthian Day and... Yeah. Yeah, it does have a very cult-like feeling. For once, be an elevator that doesn't break. That would be cool. Not having the most luck with elevators so far. I will say they they did the sense of scale pretty damn well. Not did I fall in order well, but but pretty damn well. What hey. the hell happened here? Maybe we arrived too late. Maybe we didn't. We have no idea what's behind this door. No. One way to find out. Oh, okay. So Is everything all right, Sarah? Did find someone. I don't know. Are you then? Another person in dire need of a hair transplant. More bodies. Security drones. I hate these things. You okay? Noted. Yeah. It's been years, I'm fine. But we should turn back. It's clearly not safe. We need to find out what happened, Imzadi. But we're easy targets now without. Let's look around and see what we can find. Be careful, everyone. Okay. Um. MacArthur first commissioned these back on the moon. He pretended they were there to govern. Not soon after, he used them to take over the base and ensure there was no opposition to the blackout. So he made his own little uh, drone army. Anything you can... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. Hey, you can't be Anything startled can by that. Its protocols are all messed up. Seems a kill switch turned it off, and likely the others too. But there's more code here. Something was altered before the kill switch was thrown. Hard to tell without doing a deep dive on the diagnostics. And why don't you figure out a way to do that? Look at this. Powered by the door, probably guarding the bridge. The security ASCs, MacArthur's own ASCs, are facing them, not homeward. So. They were attacking outward instead of homeward. What's Sarah's deal with security ASCs? One attacked her on the moon. It's the reason she got stuck there. During the blackout, she went to investigate the cause, and one knocked her out. That all led up to what happened with your dad, and... 
You know the rest. Right. So, did MacArthur really lose his marbles completely and then just killed you all these people? You see what's holding, Ayla? These people barricade the entrance. Why would they block their own escape? Unless they weren't trying to escape. No, I'm guessing they tried to keep something out. Even though what turned out to be in here was, well, apparently just as bad. Did that door just open by itself? What was that? Is there another? I that sound. Yeah, there's another drone in Came here. From over there. Didn't we just see one? Oh yeah, there you are. Get back here, little bugger. Could it be our old drone? The one switched with Isaac in the beginning? Yeah, I see you. You're not very good at hiding. Wow, that's a lot of dead people. Please give us a hologram that can explain all of this to us. I mean, there's not a lot of blood. They, how does it come to this? Particular hemorrhages, cyanosis. They suffocated. Oh, Definitely. okay. Yeah, both homeward and outward. So someone shut off the air. We have to leave. It's too dangerous. Too dangerous? Sarah, there's no one left. We don't know that. I mean, look what they did to each other. Sarah, please calm down. No. I mean, if there are any survivors, we, we have nothing to our defend ourselves. We, we have to go back. Ayla detects holograms? Yeah? Yep. Doesn't Alex do that too? No. And I've been trying to break the Lunar Council encryption key for years. How many of these have you found? Only a couple. Play it. What? Play it. What's up with the hostility, Sarah? Just because you've got the cheap-ass drone and we got the cool one. Right? I mean... Can I be? Play it. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Um, sorry about that, Sarah. That's gonna have to wait until next time because we are going to take a break just so these episodes don't get way too long. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to stay tuned for the next one. I'm getting a feeling we're gonna start off with a pretty cool revelation. And until then, take care. Bye.